Hey peeps, welcome back. Now we're gonna try painting the coral on my Happy Turtle painting. The colors I'm gonna use, my mess over here. See there's red, ultramarine blue, and there's a coral kind of pinkish color. I got white. Once again, I really need to clean this, this palette off, but I'm gonna start with this red and this blue and a little white and I'm look what I'm using. What? It's a brush with a bad hair day. Yeah, it's a fan brush. Fan brushes are kind of bizarre. Now, if you look at my little drawing here, my little thumbnail sketch, you'll see there's coral right there. That's what that is. This brush works really good for it because what you can do is this, watch. You know, get right there. There. You just kind of fan it out like that. I go off the canvas, of course, because I'm always off, off the rails. See, it's kind of a purpley blue color. Then you can take this peachy color and this white, and you're like, what? I'm going to throw that on the tops. Really lightly, too. Don't. Don't be a big old ham hand with this, okay? Because if you are, it's going to end up looking who knows like what. See? And then I'm going to take some yellow and throw that in there. You can use all kinds of bright colors. Think about coral. Coral comes in tons of different colors. So you can kind of have a lot of artistic license, as they say, which is a license to do whatever the hell you want, whatever you hell you want. And <clears throat> people just go, oh, well, you know, it's artistic license, whatever. So you take this and then you kind of, what is she doing? Going down like this. See, you take the same brush and you just draw it down like this because this stuff kind of grows up like a fan. And I always paint the edges of my canvas, like I say, because I'm basically cheap. I don't like to buy frames. A lot of times I don't like frames. I just like the paintings to go off the canvas and use all the canvas. And you're like, what are you doing now? So I'm doing this dark part here. Don't freak out. You're just like, well, I don't like it. Okay, well, you know, sit tight, sissy. Because now... You have that on there, and I have all these other colors on my palette still. There's blues, there's... That's why I'm not in a big hurry to necessarily... See, I'm not, I just made a decision that this one is going to be in front of that one. See how fast? What? How does that happen? Because I took my lighter blue, and I took this... I'm going to even take some of this pinky color and put it on here. Look at that. That's just craziness. It's just madness. See, now I look, I added another one. You can also, once again, like my other big brush, turn this brush over. And lo and behold, you have more paint. Don't forget that. Okay. It's real quiet. It's too quiet. I always have music playing. But I can't play music when I do this because a certain group of people Facebook says that I can't put music on that's copyrighted or I have to pay people money and I don't want to do that or you know I'll go to jail I'll be that one person in the corner what are you in for you know there'll be a murderer and like you know serial killer and then I'll be sitting there going well, they'll go, what are you here for and I'll be like um copyright infringement that'll be me so just you know Bear with the silence. I'm not used to it. And then once again, this top one is going to have more light, right? Remember the light thing? So you're going to have some happy white right up here. Because white is the most intense color. It's just a non-color that's the most intense color. White and yellow. You mix the two together, it's like dynamite. So here, you do this, and you're just kind of like, it's 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 just barely, barely, barely touching it. Did it, did it, see? Did, did it, did it, did it, boom. Now, all of a sudden, we have this funky, fresh coral. Kind of looks like little waterfalls. 
you know, and if you want to throw some little baby fish in there, you take a little liner brush. This is a liner brush, just so you know. They come in all different sizes. This is a number three liner. It's my new best friend. I bought it on sale, of course, because I'm cheap. And we're going to take some of this peachy color that I kind of like. And you're just going to put tiny fish in here. And I don't care if this brush is kind of dirty and it has other colors in it. I kind of where the paint is. Look, look at that. Huh? What? It's got a little bit of blue in it, which is okay. Oh, there's a giant fish. Whoops. That just means he's closer. You don't need to worry about all his fins and, you know, his beauty mark and, you know, what his best friends like about him. We don't care about all of that stuff. He's just a little happy fish. See, look at that. Now all of a sudden you have happy fish swimming around this coral. And I'm going to take some more blue and add it in there. I kind of do the undersides of these dudes because where the light isn't hitting them, it's going to be darker, right? Yeah. And they're kind of swimming away. And as they swim away, they get farther away. They get what? Think of perspective. I know there's a lot. That's a lot. Perspective. What's that? Isn't that how you think about something? Yeah. Yeah. It's your perspective, true. But if it's farther away, it's smaller, and it's also duller. Think about people that are boring. That's They're, they're like way far away right there. Hmm? Look at that. Hmm? And these people are kind of just going, doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean fish, excuse me. And there's some little guys hanging out underneath here, too. And since they're hanging out underneath here, they're going to be darker. So I'm going to throw some brown in here with this orange. Look at that. They're just blobs, okay? Look, blobs. Farther away, ooh, fish. Blob, fish. It's what your mind thinks you see. That's what sight is, honestly. You see something, your brain goes, it's a fish. Even though, in reality, it's a blob. But your brain says, no, it's happy fish. So I'm going to clean this brush off, take some more of this white. Oh, and let's throw some of this pretty blue in here. I'm mixing all these colors up, so, you know, don't get too excited. I'm going to put some, look at these guys. There's a bunch of little blue damsels right here. Check that out. What? How'd that happen? You just go like this. Really? Boom. Boom. Blue damsels. I don't kid you. See? Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. It takes years and years of experience to learn how to paint a fish. Ready? Ready? Boom. There he is. Boom. Chaka laka laka. See? Now we got a bunch of little blue damsels that are swimming all over the place. Because if you don't know anything about fish, a blue damsel is like one of the most common little fish on the reef. They're super pretty. They are like seriously blue. So this is this is one of the ways you can make fish on coral. And there's coral. And now all of a sudden, it went from nothing to coral. And it's okay to have the super dark spot right here. You can do this kind of thing too with your brush. Okay. Which you're like, what? That's kind of shading in reverse. Look, once again, close up blob of paint farther away. Oh yeah. It's like light hitting it from underneath. Same with this one over here. Cause this one's kind of in front of the other one. So it's going to have a little more light. This one might have some up here. And you know, it's okay to use photographs for reference. Don't, Get, you know, oh, I have to do it completely out of my head. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of this stuff, so I can. But <clears throat> if you've never seen it, or if you're unsure, or if you want reference for colors or things, then, you know, but remember, this is your painting. You can make it whatever color you want. If you make it hot pink with purple, I don't care. It's yours. That's how we do the coral. 